empty. The at staring here sat both weave which in time long a like feels what after Jack to say I help I, I'll her her with wine of glass her taking room the of out walks she that like just and chair her of out jumps mom my do. That was me reading uh page seventy nine backwards. All right, so let's uh let's actually read it. All right. This actually is yeah we're not that far into the book. All right. No. Mm, David, chapter nine. Oh wait, what's Miney's voice? I forgot what I I don't think I gave her a voice. Did I? I don't remember. I don't I don't think so. Little wit. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what voice I'm supposed to give her, but little D. I'm just gonna do the, my normal voice. Mine, he says. Ooh, this headphones. All right. And there she is at the t- dinner table, sitting in her seat, which we leave open in her absence of protocol. Her hair is a little longer, but at least at first glance, she looks pretty much the same, like my sister. I'm home! Yes, this is obvious, though I refrain from telling her that. From past experience, I've learned this is rude. What is not immediately obvious is why she is here. She's not supposed to be home for another 49 days, her spring break, which does not in any way overlap with mine. <laughs> I just barfed up like all my insides. Sorry. Um, we have already scheduled around this inconvenience. I will skip school on that Tuesday with my parents' permission. They have already agreed to write a note in which they will claim I have an important doctor's appointment. Appointment. Ugh. Appointment. And Miney and I will recreate what we have mutually agreed was the perfect day of all days ever. It will involve lunch from Sayonara. Say, sayonara. Sorry. Sayonara Sushi. Hey, Anthony Deitch is here. I'm not your dad, Anthony. You're my dad. Except you're not actually my dad because Aiden Cooper is my dad. But at the same time, you're in a gay relationship with Aiden Cooper and is my you're you're my dad, I guess. Great. Um wait a minute. No, you're my you're my stepdad. Not my actual dad. Stepdad because um Aiden's ex-wife birthed me. All right. <clears throat> Sayonara shoots. Oh my god. Sayonara sushi. Ice cream from straw. 47 minutes at our favorite bookstore. And then a trip down to the shore. To a uh, trip down the shore to the aquarium. Why are you here? I ask. Some things never change, always straight to the point, Miney says. It makes that sound that is similar to Kit Snort. <laughs> Happened again. All right. I'm not sick. I don't know why. I don't know why. <clears throat> A laugh that is not really a laugh, but is something wholly unidentifiable. In un whole whole n- n- wholly unidentifiable by me. Someone should make a YouTube video that identifies the range of female noises, not unlike the ones they have for avid birders. Avid. I can okay. I can I can do one of those, starting with the good one. Is that a good joke?
I'm not going to answer that, but we're going to continue reading. Though, I think it is highly unlikely that Miney missed me. I've estimated that I irritate her about 87%, not 87, I made up the 7, 80% of the time we spend together. I'm thrilled that she's here. Kit at my lunch table and Miney home on the same day feel like something more than coincidence. A cosmic alignment. <clears throat> when are you leaving, I ask. Departures are easier for me if I have some lead, lead time to prepare and plan. To imagine the befores and afters of the scenario. You'll be the first to know when I figure it out. Now get over here, she says, and stands up and opens her arm for a hug. Not her arm. Arms. You can't open your arm. Ha <laughs> ha. Unless you're, like, have some self-hate issues. Well, you know, Drew, um, I, um, uh, I know I have this friend who's, who, whose name is Uncle, but my, his name is Uncle. Not He's not my uncle. His name is Uncle. And his arm opens all the time. Like, it just, like, chasm ruptures out of his arm, and it's great. It's horrifying, and it was a party trick of his. But he's completely healthy other than that. All right? And that's why you always leave a note. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody, nobody's going to get that reference. Ah! All right. Departures are easier for me when I... Oh, yeah, you're right. I already did that. Opens her arms up. That's probably why, because it said opens her arms up. That sounds wrong to me. For a hug. I'm generally not a fan of, di <coughs> of displays of affection. Where was I? I am completely botching this. Yeah, you're, uh, not, doing good, pretty good right. you're not doing very good right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I make an exception for my parents and Miney. Well, really just for my mom and Miney. My dad is more of a thumbs up kind of guy. Her arms wrap around me, and I immediately start to look for sneaky changes. Miney's perfume is no longer citrus. Instead, it's something sandalwood based, borderline musty. And her clothes don't smell recently laundered. Uh, <laughs> laundered. Haha, <laughs> like laundering money. Ha! <laughs> Ha, do you get it? <laughs> oh, 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 synonyms. <laughs> um, a chunk of her hair is now purple, and she's adding a piercing to the top part of her ear. Her eyes are bloodshot. She well, better not have gotten a tattoo. I couldn't handle that. Miney was perfect the way she was when she left in September. I don't like that each time she comes home, I need to readjust to a new iteration. I find I have trouble with the purple stripe. It looks like noise. Mom says Kit drove you from home from school today, she says, which isn't a question, but she somehow makes it sound like one. Yup, I say. We talked all about quantum mechanics. Oh my god, D. Have I taught you nothing, she says. You've taught me lots of things. I didn't mention her weight, if that's what you're wonder worried about. What are we going to do with you, she asks, and my stomach clenches. Freshman year, when I would find myself in trouble at school on a bi-weekly basis, Pr Principal Hush, Hush? 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 Would Hush. pose this question, which is both idiomatic and rhetorical. What are we going to do with you? Like I was a br br uh, what now? Uh, hmm. Like, like, um, yeah, you get it. Like, I was a group project. <laughs> just once, I'd like the answer to be nothing. Just once, I'd like the answers to be, you are just as, you're, you, how am I, <laughs> how am I this mad? You are just fine as is. Just once, I'd like the question not to be asked in the first place. Place. Yeah, your notebook, Miney demands, and I pull it out of my bag. I smooth the familiar blue cover, a tick left over from when I need to look through it hourly. Hourly? Lately, though, the notebook says in my bag for longer periods. I can almost imagine a time I won't need it at all. An opportun- 
An opportunity like Kit comes w around once in a lifetime, if that. Kit is a girl, though statistically speaking, it is unlikely that she is actually the best girl in the world. It feels that way. No doubt she is the best girl in Mapleview. What Kit is not is an opportunity, I say. I'm just saying we have some serious work to do. I'm not letting you blow this. That's what she said. I joke. Oh! Woo! Woo! Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I've been waiting weeks for the chance to use a variation of the that's what he slash she said thing since I've learned how it's done. And so I can't help but grin when Miney cracks up. Her face looks lighter and softer when she laughs. Her purple hair feels quieter, too. The sum of her parts now equals the familiar. I just wish Miney's eyes weren't so bloodshot. I was wrong. Maybe some things do change, she says, and ruffles my hair. Oh, 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 yeah, ruffle my hair, Miney. I like I'm a small boy. And though I don't quite understand the reason behind her gesture, I find myself leaning into her hands. Today, the fourth time Kit sits at my lunch table. She, that, I don't know why I left out the comma. Today, the fourth time Kit sits at my lunch table, she eats a sandwich and an apple. On close expen, expansion, what? Inspection. <laughs> It appears to be hummus and turkey on whole wheat. Her black nail polish is chipped, and her shirt hangs off her right shoulder, just like one of Miney's. Ugh! Which makes me think this must be a s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s yeah, let's look it up. Relating to tailoring. Ooh. Great. And not a mistake of sizing. She has a bunch of freckles near the center of her cl clavicle. I might be stupid, but clavicle. I don't know what... What part? What part is this? Isn't that her the shoulder? Like the shoulder? Yeah, that's the shoulder area. Yeah, that's 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 the shoulder. It's the shoulder bone yep. thing, collarbone ish. Yep. Um, clavicle that form a small circle. It's soft detail, like how her bottom lip pushes out just a millimeter from her top lip. Or how, when she pushes her hands through the air, the commas fall forward, as if taking a bow. Usually people are too bright, too loud, too overpowering. Jessica's blonde hair hurts my eyes. Willow's elbows and knees look sharp. When she passes me in the hall, I imagine them cutting me like tiny knives. Oh man, okay. And Abby, the third girl in their tr triumvate? Triumph, tri, triumvirate? What is triumvirate? I'm guessing it's a group, but how do I pronounce yeah. it? Yeah. This no one idea. page has more unknown words than I've like ever. Triumvirate. Triumvirate. It's a political regime ruled or dominated by three powerful individuals. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a way to describe it. Um, where were we? I can't find it. And Abby, the third girl, in their yeah, clan yeah, break. I found it. And the one who called me a freak the other day wears so much sickly sweet perfume. I could smell her even before she enters a classroom. Oh, that rhymed. But Kit is entirely quiet. She never offends my senses. Dit. It. Mm, yum. Dit. I always thought it was straight. Wait, this is Kit? Or is, is this Kit? No, this is him. I always thought it was strange that your dad gave out uh, lollipops to his patients, I say. And once the words are out, I realize I would 
prefer not to have talked about dentists in the past tense. And yet that's what happens with the dead. They get to take no part in the present or future. You know, uh, I forgot what I made Kit's voice. Did I just make it a normal voice? Yeah, I think I, think I made everything normal like... except for, like, the secondary characters. He only gave them to kids. I thought it was some kind says. of, like, a normal girl voice. No, no. I Definitely not. I might have given her a deeper voice. I don't know. I don't remember David. what I did. I just remember that she's probably normal. I think I made the two main characters normal. And then everyone else, I gave a different voice. Ah, I'm thinking of her mom. I made her voice, like, really high-pitched. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Um, I've never left his office without one, I say. Which sounds like a cool line, I think. I don't add that his hygienist... Is a hygienist or hygienist? Hygienist. Hygienist. Barbara, always slip me an extra. That would be bragging. She likes... She liked me. Adults generally do. It's fellow teenagers I have a problem with. They were sugar-free. Of course, I think. I'm embarrassed that this, a dentist giving out lollipops, has confused me for years. What a silly thing to fixate on. And yet I do that. I find a tiny nugget, an inaccuracy or a contradiction, and it niggles in the back of it. Niggles. <laughs> <laughs> Who says niggles? <laughs> it Is niggles that actually in the a, back of a my word? <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> Obviously it's a word, but, like, what does it mean? Cause slight but persistent annoyance. I guess it I guess it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um I don't like Stop open niggling. loops. Niggle it. Um so you drive yourself to school every day? I saw you in the parking lot this morning. <clears throat> I don't tell her that we've been in the parking lot at the same time almost every morning since the beginning of the school year. I always arrive at 757 which is exactly the amount of time one needs to stop at one's locker, pick up a book or two, and be on time to a first period class in the North Wing. <clears throat> I shouldn't be surprised that she's never noticed me out there before. I seem to fall into one of two extremes for people. To the just Justin Cho's of the world, I stick out. I'm the equivalent of one of Willow's elbows. Oh my god. Uh, and a pleasant and somehow disruptive, even when I don't say a word. For everyone else, I'm mostly invisible. When Kit first sat down at my lunch table, I assumed she didn't notice me there. I'm terrified of the inevitable day when someone accidentally sits on my lap. What? Yeah, why? I ask. Oh, wait, I get, I get what he means. So he's saying yeah. that he's invisible, so someone would try to sit Reading? down on the seat. Okay. I Reading. didn't get that. I'm stupid. I thought he was being literal. It's like... It's like... I, okay. Alright. Yeah. Why? I ask. Well, I drove you home uh, yesterday. Okay. My cheeks warm. Uh, can I my palms chapter? sweat. Yes. What? Sorry, one second. All right. Continue. So, guys. Continue. Um, all right. <clears throat> he um he s then proceeds to say profanities. Hoover, damn. It didn't even occur to me that she'd find out I didn't need a ride. Right. I scramble for a reason. Explanation. In other words, my anemone, my anemone, my nemesis. A good lie. I come up empty. I opt for uncomfortable silence. I look at her clavicle freckle cluster. 
it is suitably distracting. I think about the ratio of the circumference to its diameter. Shut up. What does that have to do with it? What? The, the, the ratio of the circumference of the clavicle? To the diameter of the clavicle? But the clavicle isn't a circle, idiot. It's, a, it's like not even an ellipse. God, God, get your logistics correct. Which, of course, leads me to pie. Who doesn't love an endless rhythmic beauty of pie? Rhythmic? How is pie rhythmic? This is... What is... What was... That entire paragraph was, like, the worst thing I've ever read. Drew, are you even there? I'm back. All right. So basically, what happened is, um, he called, he said, I look at her clavicle freckle cluster, and it's suitably distracting. I think about the ratio of the circumference to its diameter, but I, I don't see the connection, I'm gonna be honest, between, the, between the, the clavicle freckle cluster and the ratio of the circumference to its diameter. What the, what, what, do you, do you understand that? Um, wait, one second. I'm going to read till I get there. One second. Um. It's... He had to think about something, so he thought about pie. I don't think it's that unreasonable. Oh, okay, great. Um, and then he says, Who doesn't love the endless rhythmic beauty of pie? But how is pie rhythmic? I don't understand. I don't understand that part either. I think he might, um, make up words to sound smart. Because, like... <laughs> Who says niggles? Who says niggles? God. All right. So you left your car here last night. You know they tow, right? She asks. I nod. I know this. My mom brought me back just after you dropped me off. I hear the words I have just said out loud and realize I am a ridiculous person. I will always be a ridiculous person. How could I have been worried yesterday that Kit would think I was a dork? Of course she already does. I'm fooling no one. What are we going to do with you? I decide to stick with what I do best. The truth. I just like talking to you. So though I didn't technically need a ride, I wanted one. Okay, she says. And looks up. <clears throat> and for a quick second our eyes meet. I break contact first. I kind of like talking to you too. I kind of like talking to you too. Yeah. Dit! Dit, dit, dit! <clears throat> Later at the end of the school day, I see Kit as she walks to her car. Even though we have five classes together, with the wonderful lunch exception, that's, it seems we have tac... Tac... Tacitly? Tac... Tacitly? Do you know that word? Tacitly, I believe. Tacitly? Tacitly. Yeah, it's tacitly and in a way that is understood or implied without being directly stated. All right. God, I keep losing my spot. This is the worst live stream ever. All right. To each other during the day while in school. This is fine by me. Since. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, this wouldn't work as an audiobook at all. So I don't understand what's the point of keep going. Of ke keep on going. Okay. Since I like my routine, I have a playlist in my headphones for. All classroom transitions. But now that we are outside, I wave with my keys in my hands. I think of this as the equivalent of laughing at myself. 
which my family often reminds me I need to do more often. She smiles. Yeah, so I'm not going to offer you a ride home again, she says. It wouldn't be fair to your mom. That's too bad. You're a very good driver. Kit's face closes. I'm not sure exactly what I mean. She has not moved a single muscle, but she's suddenly like a computer that's been powered down. I prefer her face when it's open. That is... All right. Wait. She said those words. I kind of like talking to you, too. Seriously? Miney asks when I get home from school. She's lying on the couch in a way that makes it seem like she's been there all day. Her hair is tangled, and she's wearing her favorite pajamas. The ones I bought for her. Christmas. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I need to stretch. Alright, uh, the one I bought for her... For Christmas two years ago, that say odd next to a picture of a duck wearing a tiara. She forgot them when she left for college, and though I offered to FedEx them, she told me it was too much of a hassle. When I said I didn't mind, she said she liked knowing they were home safe, where they couldn't get lost or stolen. That's how I know they are her favorite. Aw, aw, she doesn't like them. Oh no, oh no. Uh, uh, Drew, are you there? Drew! Drew, I need- I need- Yeah! Friends. Drew! Keep- it's, Commentate! Commentate, Drew! God. Um, I- uh, Yeah, yeah, I- I definitely agree. I concur. Yes! Those exact words! Then, we chatted about how much we both liked old 80s movies! She's a huge- I almost said huge- there's no huge there. I skipped a word. All right. John Hughes fan, too. I told her that he died at the age of 59. <laughs> Just dropped dead of a heart attack. Here one day, gone the next. Just like her dad. <laughs> I, I mean, Kit's dad died in a car accident, but same concept. Blink here, blink gone. Little D. Manny sits up and shakes her head. You can't. I mean, you gotta be careful about the dead dad stuff. Kit says she likes that I tell the truth. She called it brutal honesty, but I think it's the same thing. Miney says, Miney stays still for a minute. She's wearing her thinking face. I think you need to ask Kit out. What? Not like on a date or anything. Not yet. Something super casual. Maybe to study or to work on a school project together. You need to up your time together in a way that feels like a natural extension of lunch. Miney puts her hair back from her face and ties it in a ponytail. The purple gets mostly hidden, and I feel the tightness in my chest lighten. Her eyes are still bloodshot, and there are triangles of blue below them. I will pick up some zinc lo lozenges, los lozenge, okay, you get the idea. Some zinc lozenges, la, lo, zinc lozenges, lozen, okay. Zinc lozenges from the drugstore later in case she's getting sick. I wish I remembered Kit from when I was, went to Maple View. I looked up her Twitter and Instagram and stuff, but it didn't tell me much. She seems surprisingly normal. Why is that surprising? I told you she was perfect. Also, she's the prettiest girl in school. Cool. Eh, she's cute enough. I have no idea what she's cute enough for, but I don't ask. Whatever Kit is, I like it. Why would yeah. we study together? I'm way ahead in all my subjects. It would be inefficient. I stare at the right side of Miney's face. That way I can't see the new piercing. Like the purple stripe. It screams at me! No, there's not a slight octave shift. It feels like it's demanding something, but I don't know what. Hey, we're almost chapter 10. Missing the point! But before we get to any of that, if you want any shot here, we need to clean you up. The time has come, little D. Miney smiles in that way she does when she's about to force me to do something scary. She's like Trey that way. 
always pushing me out of what she calls my comfort zone, which I'll never understand. Why would you purposefully make yourself uncomfortable? Yeah, uh, uh, okay. Since Miney is a number one on the trust list, I try hard to do whatever she asks. That's not always possible. The time has come for what? I think of Kit's clavicle. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I think of Kit's clavicle. The perfect little circle of freckles. Pie! Pie! It relaxes me. It, like counting backward. Shopping, little D. Time to get over your fear of the big bad mall. Yup, I was right. Horrifying. Alright. That was good. Um, I think I'm gonna eat soon. Worst one yet. I don't know. You have to admit. Worst one yet.